Wow, I can't get enough of watching super simple songs in Coco Melon. They make the best songs in the whole wide world, and I'm going to keep on watching those videos. Joseph, can you please put your tablet away? You can't use electronic devices in class. This is so much more fun than listening to a boring lecture every single day. Besides, Coco Melon is very educational. Joseph, how many times do I have to tell you, put away your tablet? You're not to use it in class, and you also need to pay close attention to the lesson because you're going to need this information for the exam. No, I'm not going to put away my iPad because Coco Melon is better than listening to lectures nonstop. Besides, it's very educational. Joseph, if you don't put your iPad away, I'm going to keep it until the end of the school day. I don't want to put away my iPad. 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 I want to keep watching Coco Melon. That's it, Joseph. Go out into the hallway for five minutes and I will be out to talk with you about your behavior. Can't believe that Miss Stillwater made me sit in the hallway for five minutes. This is so not fair. At least this is better than listening to her boring lectures every single day. You know what? That gives me the perfect idea. I'm just going to skip class, go home instead, so that I can watch Coco Melon and Super Simple Songs. All day long. Now that I am outside this silly school, I am going to use GoAnimate logic to get home, so that no one finds out I am skipping class. Grounded, 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 grounded. Alright, now that I made it home without anyone noticing, I can watch Coco Melon and Super Simple Songs for the rest of the day. This is going to be the best day I have ever had. No more listening to Miss Stillwater's silly boring lectures. Coco Melon is way more education, and so is Super Simple Songs. Now, what song should I listen to first? Why not listen to, The Wheels on the Bus? That is my main favorite Coco Melon song. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus go open and close, all through the town. The driver on the bus says move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says move on back, all through the town. You know what? I'm going to listen to this song all day long. Class, I will be right back. I need to talk to Joseph out in the hallway about his behavior. This should only last a few minutes. Joseph? Joseph? He was here just a few moments ago, but now I can't find him. Where could he be? Well then, I guess I have to check in with Principal Tingley to find out what exactly happened. Miss Stillwater, I was going to call you into my office. Principal Tingley, do you have any idea what happened with Joseph? I told him to wait outside in the hallway for five minutes, but when I went into the hallway, he wasn't there. That's just what I need to talk to you about right now. A few moments ago, I was watching the surveillance tapes, and I want you to take a look at them. 
Come over here. Now I am going to play the video. You know what? That gives me the perfect idea. I'm just going to skip class, go home instead, so that I can watch Coco Melon and Super Simple Songs, all day long. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that Joseph skipped class. I am going to have to call his parents. This is totally unacceptable. Great, his mom didn't answer. Let's try calling his dad's work number instead. Hello? Hello, is this David Reed? Principal Tingley, this is him. What do you need from me? This is about your son Joseph. What did he do this time? He was misbehaving in class, and Miss Stillwater made him wait in the hallway so she can talk to him about his behavior. But instead, he left campus, and he hasn't been back since. Oh 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 oh. I can't believe Joseph skipped school. I think he is at home right now, watching baby shows or something. I want you to bring him to my office within the next 30 minutes to an hour. I need to speak with him. Okay, Principal Tingley, I will bring Joseph back to the school. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus go open and close, all through the town. Whoever it is, can you please leave me alone? Joseph, come out of your room, now. You are in big trouble. Joseph, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at school. Let's take you back there right now. Wah. Mr. Reed, thanks for stopping by the main office. We need to have a really important discussion about Joseph. I saw in a surveillance tape that Joseph left school grounds when he was not supposed to. He was using his iPad during class when I told him he needs to put it away, but he threw a childish tantrum on the floor. And I had him wait for me in the hallway for a few minutes. But then when I went back into the hallway to talk to him, he wasn't there. Joseph, this is something to be taken very seriously. You don't leave school grounds until the final bell rings. Because of what you did, you will be serving after school detention with Miss Stillwater for an hour every day starting tomorrow until the second to last day of the school year. Joseph, you are going to be so grounded when you get home. Go to your room right now, Joseph Christopher Reed. And do not come out until dinner is ready. <coughs> Thank you.